Have you ever wondered what made Marie Curie, the woman who conquered the world of science, so unique? The story of this remarkable woman begins in the heart of Warsaw, Poland, on a chilly November day in 1867. Born as Maria Sklodowska, she was destined for greatness, a destiny shaped and nurtured by an extraordinary lineage. Her father, a dedicated teacher of mathematics and physics, became her beacon of inspiration, kindling the flames of curiosity within young Maria. Her intelligence was not ordinary, it was exceptional, even among her peers. Maria was not just another face in the crowd, she was a bright spark, a prodigy, a curious mind, always yearning to learn more, to know more. Her fascination with the sciences was not just a hobby, it was a passion. It was this passion that would later lead her to break barriers, shattering the glass ceiling of her time. Marie Curie, a prodigy in the making, was on her way to change the world of science. But the path to knowledge wasn't always smooth for Marie. In a world dominated by men, young Marie Curie faced numerous roadblocks in her quest for education. Being a woman in late 19th century Poland, she was barred from attending the official universities of her time. In addition, the financial constraints of her family posed another significant challenge. But did these hurdles deter her? Not in the least. Instead, Marie found a way around the gender bias. She joined the Flying University, a clandestine educational institution in Poland that courageously dared to educate women at a time when such a concept was unheard of. Here, she pursued her studies in secret, fueling her insatiable curiosity and laying the foundation for her future scientific endeavors. Financial difficulties, however, continued to haunt her, but Marie was not one to be easily defeated. She worked tirelessly, juggling multiple jobs to support her education. Despite all odds, Marie's thirst for knowledge remained unquenched. The city of love, Paris, held a special place in Marie's life. In the year of 1891, Marie Curie, a young woman with a thirst for knowledge, embarked on a journey to the City of Lights. She sought to quench her thirst at the prestigious Sorbonne University, a beacon of enlightenment that promised a world of scientific exploration and discovery. But life in Paris was not all that it seemed. Marie found herself living in less than ideal conditions, struggling to make ends meet, yet she was determined. The hardship she faced only fueled her resolve to succeed. She spent countless hours immersed in her studies, her mind buzzing with scientific theories and equations. Her humble abode may not have been a palace, but within its walls she was a queen ruling over the realm of her studies. In the heart of Paris, Marie was building the foundation of her future achievements. In the realm of science, Marie found not just her passion, but also her soulmate. Yes, you heard that right. It was the year 1894 when Marie Curie met Pierre Curie, a man equally as intrigued and enchanted by the mysteries of science as she was. Their minds resonated on the same frequency, their hearts beat to the same rhythm of scientific curiosity. Both were not just lovers, but partners in the grand dance of discovery. A year later, in 1895, they decided to unite not just their lives, but their scientific quests as well. Their marriage marked the beginning of a collaborative work that would eventually shake the very foundations of science. Together, they delved into the mysteries of the universe, their minds intertwined in a mutual pursuit of knowledge and truth. Together, Marie and Pierre embarked on a journey of scientific discovery, a journey that would forever change our understanding of the world. The year 1898 marked a significant milestone in Marie and Pierre's scientific journey. It was a year that would redefine our understanding of the natural world. The Curies, fueled by an insatiable curiosity and an unwavering belief in the power of scientific exploration, discovered not one but two new elements, polonium and radium. Imagine, if you will, the unyielding dedication it took. Picture the countless hours spent in a dimly lit laboratory surrounded by an orchestra of glassware, the air heavy with anticipation. It was in this very setting that Marie, with an unerring focus, began her pioneering work in the field of radioactivity. The discovery of these elements was no small feat. It took immense patience, a meticulous eye for detail, and a profound understanding of the complexities of atomic structures. Marie and Pierre had to sift through tons of pitch blend, a uranium-rich mineral, to find mere traces of these elusive elements. Polonium, named after Marie's homeland of Poland, was the first to be discovered. It was a tribute to a nation that had given her so much, yet also a symbol of her enduring connection to her roots. 
Then came radium with its mesmerizing glow and intense radioactivity. It was radium's unique properties that led to the birth of a new scientific field, radiology. The discovery of radium was a revelation, a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the boundless mysteries of the universe just waiting to be unraveled. Marie and Pierre's work was intense, grueling, and often fraught with challenges. But it was their relentless pursuit of knowledge, their unwavering commitment to the cause of science, that enabled them to make these groundbreaking discoveries. Their pioneering efforts in the field of radioactivity, their unyielding dedication to the pursuit of knowledge, and their tireless work in the face of adversity, all culminated in this monumental discovery. Their groundbreaking work opened up a new chapter in the world of science, a chapter that continues to inspire and intrigue us even today. A Marie's brilliance shone brighter than any radioactive element. Kicking off the dawn of the 20th century, she was recognized for her groundbreaking work, and in 1903, she made history. Marie became the first woman to win a Nobel Prize. This was no small feat. She shared this honor with her husband, Pierre Curie, and physicist Henri Becquerel for their collective work in the field of radiation. Marie's dedication to her work was unwavering. She was a beacon of determination, working tirelessly in her makeshift laboratory. Amidst the glow of her radioactive samples, she was a shining star, illuminating the path for future scientists. But her accolades didn't stop there. In 1911, eight years after her first Nobel Prize, Marie Curie made history once again. This time, she was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for her discovery of the elements polonium and radium. This achievement was monumental, making her the only person in history to win Nobel Prizes in two different sciences. Marie's work was revolutionary. She pushed the boundaries of our understanding of the universe, revealing the mysterious and powerful world of radioactivity. Her discoveries opened up new pathways for research and treatment in the field of medicine, particularly in the fight against cancer. Her journey was not without obstacles. She faced countless challenges, both in her personal life and in her career. But through it all, she remained steadfast in her pursuit of knowledge. Her contributions to science are immeasurable, and her legacy continues to inspire scientists around the world. Marie Curie was a woman of many firsts. She broke barriers and shattered glass ceilings. She was a pioneer, a trailblazer, and above all, an extraordinary scientist. Marie Curie, a woman of firsts, had etched her name in the annals of science. Marie Curie's legacy extends far beyond her lifetime. Her groundbreaking work didn't stop at the discovery of polonium and radium, but extended into practical applications that would change the course of history. One such application was the development of X-rays. At the onset of World War I, Curie recognized the potential of this technology in assisting battlefield surgeons. She developed mobile radiography units known as Little Curies, which were used to provide over a million X-ray examinations, dramatically improving the survival rate of wounded soldiers. However, her relentless dedication came at a cost. Curie's constant exposure to radiation, a hazard unknown in her time, led to her untimely death in 1934, but even in her passing, she left an invaluable lesson about the potential dangers of the very elements she discovered. Her death triggered a new understanding of the precautions necessary when handling radioactive materials, shaping safety protocols in scientific research to this day. Curie's legacy is imprinted in the annals of science and medicine. Her discoveries laid the groundwork for the development of cancer treatments such as Radiotherapy, which continues to save countless lives. She broke numerous barriers, becoming the first woman to win a Nobel Prize and to this day remains the only person to win the prestigious award in two different scientific fields, physics and chemistry. Her life journey, from a financially constrained student to a world-renowned scientist, serves as a beacon of inspiration. She demonstrated that gender, financial limitations, or societal barriers should not deter one from pursuing their passion. Her resilience, determination, and unwavering dedication to science exemplify the power of human spirit and intellect. Marie Curie, a woman of resilience and determination, left a legacy that continues to inspire millions. Her life and work serve as a reminder of the transformative power of curiosity, courage, and above all, perseverance.